Okay, so on to the next track slash performance in Sonia's Music Marathon, which is fast, fast approaching its end. But uh, it's been absolutely fantastic. So for those of you who are only joining us now, I suggest you go back to the beginning of this series, which is a 40 long, a 40 reaction long series. Um, and start watching from there because I promise you the variety of music has been fantastic. I know I'm saying this on every single reaction, but it really is. Right? The truth is the truth. Anyway, moving on to the next one. It's Eddie Vedder. Uh, this is Society. I've never heard of this artist. I've never heard of the song. So this is completely and utterly brand new. There is a message over here from Sonia that says, Official video from Into the Wild. Uh, after graduating from university, top student and athlete Chris McCandless uh, abandoned his position, gave his entire savings to charity and hitchhiked to Alaska to live in the wilderness. He lost 113 days. He died, some say of starvation, weighing a mere 30 kilograms. Jeez, that is quite a, quite a, <laughs> quite a uh, uh, significant weight loss. Um, others believe he was poisoned by berries he had eaten. Eddie Vader is the lead vocalist and one of the three guitarists from Pearl Jam. Now, Pearl Jam is one of my brother's favorite bands, actually. Uh, we I don't know much about Pearl Jam. I don't know much about any of these rock sort of bands. I mean, I'm finding them all out through you guys, and we're going down the, the different respective rabbit holes, and they've been absolutely fantastic, right? I didn't grow up with rap, not at all. I grew up with either classical and composition music like Hans Zimmer and rap. Those were my two genres. Obviously, there was the dance stuff, but that's the clubby stuff is bullshit. That's not real music. Um, but I was very much about compositions, Hans Zimmer, um, all those all those kind of guys, and things like Enya, the Gregorians, I love uh, stuff like that. And then obviously, I was very much into the rap genre. Rock wasn't my my genre at all, but I'm glad to a certain degree that it wasn't because it's actually opened up my eyes to how insane the genre actually is. But we haven't done much of Pearl Jam, and uh, we definitely haven't done a single one by Eddie Vader. So let's see what we got. For those of you who want to watch additional content, link is in the description. You can click on that and go to the sphere, and you can watch additional content. There will be more additional content being added there this week. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what we got. That was a fucking bar. I didn't even realize it. I only actually thought about it afterwards. Is we have agreed that we have that we only have agreed. So we've agreed to the greed, right? I like that. That that's a bar. <laughs> that's a bar. You know what I mean? We've agreed to this greed. Come on, man. Fire. You think you have to want more than you need. That's true. Till you have it all, you won't be free. That's the thought process. Society, you're crazy breed. I hope you're not lonely without me. Ooh. Yo. Oh my God, this is giving me goosebumps. It's like society, you're an imp, like you're... You're a crazy breed. I hope you're not lonely without me. I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out. Yeah, take all the fucking possessions. Take all the mundane garbage. Worship yourselves, right? Turn yourselves into idea, uh, idealists and ideologues, right? Go and follow all the uh, all the the decadences and go and try and get all of your follow your temptations and your decad decadences. Turn into idolatry. Worship face fake prophets worship fake gods which is your materialism do you know what i mean i'm out i'm out there's more to life than this i like that that actually gave me that gave me goosebumps love that when you want more than you have you think you need and when you think more than you want your thoughts begin to bleed Ooh, oh my god think i need to find a bigger place that's when you have more than you think you need more space Ooh. bro 
terms. So this is literally the human nature. I need to find a bigger place because when you have more than you, uh, uh, when you have more, so like you, you need more stuff, right? George Carlin actually spoke about this kind of thing. It's like our whole our lives, our, all our existence it, like, exists around our stuff. And then we need to take that stuff and put it somewhere, right? And then we take our stuff and we put it in a house, but we want more stuff. So we need to go and buy bigger houses, right? So that we can fill it with more stuff. And the bigger we buy and the more space we get, the more we need to... It's almost like a, like a vicious circle, right in the sense of like okay well we need a bigger house and you'll justify that so you okay we need a bigger house because of this we're having more kids and blah 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 then you get a bigger house and it's like live within your means that's perfectly fine you don't need to get more stuff but then you'll justify why you have to get more stuff because now the house we have is a bit too big now you know it's it's feeling a little empty so we do need to get more stuff and only when I acquire more stuff do I feel better about myself, even though that's very temporary, temporary cheap happinesses. But when I get all of that type of thing, and then my house seems too full. And it's like, wait a second, we don't have enough space. And because we don't have enough space, we need somewhere with more space. We've over cluttered this, right? And when you get that more space, you're like, oh, we need more stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we've created a society around that, that you, you know, you every single year you need to get the absolute newest iphone absolute newest computer and everyone's guilty of this it's not like it's one's better than the other but everyone's guilty of this kind of thing you always need to have the newest thing because the the last thing is blah. and these companies and these corporates have done very well because before they used to actually have planned obsolescence in the actual product itself Right. And to and at a point that actually became illegal. Where it's like you can't do that. You can't have a product that you manufacture well and then you purposefully manufacture it, manufacture it not as good as it should be so that it literally after a certain time um, um, it fails and then a new product needs to be bought. Right. So they couldn't do that anymore. But then what happened and who was a, an integral cog in changing this this uh, uh, kind of strategy into a mindset strategy was Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was the kind of guy and not even that it actually probably went back as Henry uh, as far as Henry Ford. Right. Henry Ford before it was just a black and white cars. Henry Ford is what brought a whole array of colors to the cars where he kind of accessorized uh, cars as well. But the uh, uh steve jobs is a kind of was the guy that said we need to make our product obsolete in our customers heads right we need to make it obsolete where by the time we release the second one you look at the one you have which is perfectly fine and say no this thing is shit now it's a donkey it's almost like you almost like make that product obsolete in your mind because the new one is that much better and then over a couple of years we just literally got entrenched in that sort of culture and now we're in this culture of like i need to have the latest all of the fucking time the fact that the phone does everything that you lost, that the last generation did, it doesn't matter. I need the dynamic island because the dynamic island is a game changer because a little black block goes whoop, 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 whoop. I need it. I need it. It's crazy. It's crazy. We're interesting creatures though, right? But it's uh, very cool to look in from a psychological standpoint in terms of how people um, comport themselves. <laughs> Society, you're crazy free. I hope you're not lonely without me. Society, crazy and deep. I hope you're not lonely without me. favorite song this is my favorite song of the whole series absolutely love this it's such a telling song specifically for the younger generation today who are all caught up in brands and consuming and all that kind of shit do you know what I mean 
It's crazy. It's, it's the same society that wants to save the planet, but they're kind of caught in this rock and a hard place because they really want to save the planet, but they also really want their Lamborghinis and private jets and fake boobs and their social media, which all of those data warehouses consume a disastrous amount of uh, uh, um, um, energy, which obviously contributes massively to the uh, to the uh, climate catastrophe or whatever you want to call it, right? They're stuck in a rock in a hard place. They want the electric cars, but they also don't want to see the other side in terms of what the electric cars has caused on the other side of the planet, where it's created an entire industry of slave of child labor, right? To mine that cobalt and lithium, which by the way is not in any which way good for the planet either. It doesn't matter because it's all a fucking facade. Do you know what I mean? No one's willing up to willing to give up their crypto. No one's willing to give up their likes and their dislikes and their fucking shares and their social media and all of that type of shit. Do you know what those data warehouses literally uh, uh, consume in power? It's literally the number one consumer of fucking power off the grid is those data warehouses. Do you know what I mean? Nah, nah, <laughs> got to keep the social media going, man. I need my Tesla because I need to show everybody that I'm, I'm for the planet. I'm such a good person, man. I'm such a good person. I, I, I'm, the, I'm the person saving the planet. Do you know what I mean? It's hypocrisy on a different degree, man. <laughs> Less is more, but if less is more, how you keep in score? Ooh. Means for every point you make your level. Fire. But if less is more, then how are you keeping score? I need to be better than you, man. I need to be better than you. You can't have the iPhone 15 on your own. I can't have the iPhone 14 while you have the iPhone 15. Oh my God, how's people gonna look at me? What if I don't have the dynamic island on my phone? You know what I mean? People are gonna be like, oh my God, that is like so 2014. You know what I mean? 2015. <laughs> you know I mean, it's like, fuck, what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? Heck, how are we gonna keep score with each other, man? Right, I need to, I need you to Square me up directly against my liabilities and then tell me that, oh, wow, you're amazing. You know, you show me your liability. Like I had someone that actually did that to me. But they're like, oh, my God, where's your Lamborghini? What? So you're asking me to judge you up against your liability and somehow you're a fucking top dog? <laughs> what, you think you bought an asset? Come on, bro. Do you know what I mean? People don't even know what assets and liabilities are any anymore. Do you know what I mean? They don't know what a real asset is. My family is an asset to me. Do you know what I mean? There are many things in my life that are actual assets, tangible assets to me. Do you know what I mean? You're showing me a fucking sports car and you say, Hey, measure me up against my liability. Look what a top dog I am. <laughs> well done, bro. <laughs> you, woo! Damn it, man. You're at the top of the log here, bro. But we have to keep score. We have to. We have to. We can't wear shirts like this. It's got no label on it. I won't. I will not. I will not advertise for a single fucking brand. I'm no one's fucking billboard. I'm no one's billboard. I'm not going around trying to show people, oh, look, La Ralph Mulloran or uh, Boss or that kind of thing. No, I'm happy with a very nice, modest shirt. You know what I mean, I'm not no one's billboard. But... They've tricked society into being that. They've tricked society that wearing D&G and Gucci and Prada, somehow that adds. It adds value to your, to your um, uh, character. It adds value to persona, obviously, because, you know, everything, the currency over here, our, our main currency in our society today is attention, right? That's the currency we operate in on social media, in the public domain, in the de facto public domain, which is social media as well. Right? That's the currency. Attention and victimhood. 
That's the currency that we operate in today. So obviously everyone's trying to put their best foot forward and then they realize, wait a second, why aren't I happy? Why do I feel empty and shallow? And I feel like I don't have a purposeful existence. Oh, maybe it's my identity. Maybe, no, it's something. I need to change my identity. That'll make it better. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just... Anyway, moving on. For every point you make your level drops Kind of like you're starting from the top You can't do that Society You're a crazy breed I hope you're not lonely Without me Society Hope you're not lonely without me. Set the society. Fuck. Have mercy on me. I hope you're not angry if I disagree. Society. Crazy and deep. I hope you're not lonely. This is a beautiful song, Wow. Wow. Absolutely love the song. Love the song. This I will safely say, so we are, are we ending off strong over here. This I will safely say is my favorite song of this entire series. This is the number one song of this entire series. That hit me in every which way. The instrumentation was beautiful. His voice was beautiful. The message was beautiful. And it was simple and clean cut and to the point. He didn't try and sort of over elaborate and try and make himself better than anybody else. He literally just said, I'm tapping out. Have the world you've created. Have all of the decadences and temptations and all of the fucking um, endless products that will never end, right? You can stick to your consumerism and I'll just go die out there in the wild, right? Really appreciating the beauty of the world. I'm out. Do you know what I mean? Love that. Beautifully constructed song. Favorite of the whole fucking series. Love you all. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.